What's going on, people? Jay back again with another video, and we got the red leather case. Let's do it. Now, the unboxing experience is pretty simple. Just uh, take this top uh, flap here. Okay. Pull from the top here. Case slides right out. Then when you pop that out, it has a little guide on how to put it onto the phone. As you see, you put the top corners in first. Try to slide that on. Wow. We got a lot of fingerprints on that, but it's all good. Slide both sides in like that there. Get Siri off the phone. Here is the case. Looks amazing. Not gonna lie, this is one of my, probably my favorite cases. Buttons, very tactile. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but they got that clicky sensation. <laughs> uh, future, don't copyright me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, sir. Got a decent amount of uh, lippage. So, you know, so you can be able to slam it down on the front. No problems. The back is also, the camera is completely covered. So if you see there, you, you won't have to really worry about scratching up the camera on anything. And this is the genuine um, product here. I know my last video I did on the silicone was a knockoff. But, um, yeah, that was because this case was on actually on sale for a really good price. It was only 30 bucks, got it from Best Buy. Now, don't get me wrong, people. If you wanna go spend 40 bucks on a silicone case and you wanna spend 50 bucks on this case, I definitely recommend them. But at the same time, go on the Amazon. If you want the silicone one, I will definitely recommend you to get the May case, which is around maybe 15 bucks, or just go to eBay, buy you a fake one off there for Either five to ten bucks. Um, but the leather joint, yeah, I would definitely go in store and pick up the real deal because this right here is amazing. Um, like I said, don't get me wrong, I also have a guy that has wanted me to do this review and he has a knockoff leather case. Um, I had somewhat of a problem ordering it as well, so I just went ahead and got the real version. And I'm making this review today so he could see it, you know, and if he noticed any differences, then he can let me know, you know, and we can compare and contrast on that situation. But as you guys see, there is a little bit of a space in between here. It's just a tad bit. And putting the case on, it's not like the silicone when it just slides the bottom corners onto the phone. It's actually more of a, you have to wrap it around the edges. Like it's a little more of a, not a struggle, but you just definitely, the silicone case slides right on. This one I had to apply a little pressure, but looks amazing, man. I, I'm really happy with the purchase, but uh, yes, sir. Just a quick video letting y'all know how the case is. And I, I give it a, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. You know, the 0.5 is just because it doesn't have too much drop protection, but, you know, it'll definitely um, work well with regular wear and tear, maybe a couple drops. And if, not, if you drop it from maybe waist height, it probably will survive that. But if you're dropping it from standing up on the phone, might have a tad bit of a problem. <laughs> but besides that, man, I definitely recommend the case. Really good looking, very tactile buttons. All in all, really good case. And uh, that's JTech. Until next time. <laughs>